What is prototyping? Prototyping is turning your idea into an experience, a service or a product. You can do this in a you know, fancy workshop with a lot of tools that we have here. You could do it in, in your home or you could even do it outside. Uh, prototyping is something that everybody can do and the purpose of it is to test ideas, see what works and what doesn't. I am in love with the ocean. I was born by the sea and when you walk on a beach in Hong Kong, well, sometimes you encounter lots of trash on the sand. Well, there's a lot of people who are you know, collecting plastic uh, with their hands and with sticks, but actually it's very difficult to catch the small pieces of plastic. And so I would love to prototype and test to see if I'm able to catch the small pieces of plastic. How do you know if your idea is going to work out? Well, there's only one way to know, and that's prototyping. So what I normally do, I like to first get um, in the place where the crime happened. So I can get familiar with all the problems and all the complex environment, people, you know, everything. And then I do a lot of sketches, coming up not with one idea, but many. Once I have a sketch that I feel has got some potential, then I will try it and make a simple, cheap version at home. I will, you know, use the tools that I can find around, maybe a ruler, you know, a pair of scissors, some glue, really basic stuff. And for the materials, probably it will be cardboard and maybe some tin cans, what I can find. Once that is done, you can transfer this knowledge to the workshop. And in the workshop, you'll have a lot more tools. You have woodworking tools and metalworking tools. You can cut, drill, weld, glue, you know, uh, laminate. You can do pretty much everything. And so then I will take the preferred design that I will implement it at the real scale, scale one. And I will add maybe you know, mechanical elements like an engine or electric circuits or anything that I need to make it actually work while I will be on the beach and testing it on the real problem. Make sure you have enough angle. For here, I might have to dig a little bit for the foot. Make sure the sand only falls into one category. Okay, so let's try this machine. So I'm just gonna scoop some, some sand and let's see if something can be filtered. So I load the machine and start to rotate. Testing is not only you know, implementing exactly what you had in mind in the workshop, because when you arrive in the testing field, everything is different. And so you probably will have to adapt to a lot of the things. Maybe your machine was too heavy and not easy to move around. Maybe it was a bit unstable because you are on an uneven surface. There's so many things that can happen that you cannot really predict very, very well. And so the testing part is really to get the feedback first from the machine itself. Maybe you had some metrics at the beginning that you can evaluate, uh, but also like physically for you, uh, like personal feedback. Is it easy to maneuver? Uh, you can also get the feedback from the people around you. Ethan had a great idea. He suggested to uh, like tap things because when you keep uh, turning, you can see it's wet. So thanks to Ethan, now we have also another idea how to make it better. And then lastly, it's also, of course, what is the impact of your device? So overall, I feel that this approach, this technique is interesting. Uh, I would say, of course, it's got some many things that it can improve. The first thing is that the really big waste will have tendency not even to fall in this, they will actually fall outside. The first thing for sure, we need another big tank here to keep, to collect the actual trash. So I think there's still going to be some manual sort of uh, selection here. And I think we'll need a better way to really contain this thing so there's no dust going out and no gaps between the buckets. So all the dust goes right into the bucket and not on the structure. So all these combined, what does it do to society? Is it really helping the problem you're trying to solve, not only on the short term, immediately, but really builds toward a long-term solution, addressing the root cause and not only the symptoms.